So the first card is morality, and this is the Queen of um, Swords. So you are very determined. You're taking control back of your life again. You might be feeling a little bit isolated and very, uh, you know, uh, lonely right now. So this is a woman who has been uh, through a lot of problems, uh, through a lot of battles, uh, a lot of betrayal. Uh, you can see there's a dark cloud behind her uh, and, uh, you know, she's getting over things. So you, this is probably where you're coming from at the moment. Uh, you have dealt with a lot of problems. You may have gone through some kind of divorce or some kind of separation. And, um, you know, you felt really, um, you, you're feeling very isolated right now because you have separated yourself. You're not allowing people to come very close because you don't really want to get hurt all, all over again. Now, there looks like there's some celebration coming in, so there's a victory of some some sort, uh, maybe even getting together with friends. You might be going to uh, some kind of a social event, or you could be uh, celebrating, uh, you know, achievement of some sort. Um, you're starting a brand new cycle where you're letting things go now, and you're going with the flow of things. So, uh, you know, you're giving up um, the past uh, emotional baggage that you had, and you're starting afresh. So in the past, it looks like you had some kind of choice or decision to make with the lover's card. This could also have been that you've been involved with some kind of loving, you know, a love relationship uh, that seemed to have come to an end. But you've, it seems like you've made some decision. Usually the lover's card is about decision and it seems like you've made some kind of decision to move forward. You've, you've taken a stance and you've got the queen of pentacles over here. So you are coming into your own again. You are starting to achieve and you're starting to um, uh, focus on yourself and your abundance and you're beginning to blossom now uh, and you're thinking very independently you're feeling very independent right now and you're doing this all by yourself you're making yourself building yourself up again so going into the future you've got that letting go card again as well so this is also you know you're going in the flow starting a new emotional cycle but you're also letting go of the past so you're walking away uh, from the, that you know, something that was very, very stable in your life, you had to let it go because it was bringing you down or it was something that, uh, you know, maybe you didn't even have a choice. You had to leave it behind and go. And you're now getting over that right now. And you're waiting for things to change. You've got the patience card of here. This is about, you know, you can see the phases of the moon, uh, waiting for things to, uh, to come into fruition for you, but also investing in yourself again. You've got that seven of pentacles, uh, um, making an investment in yourself now and waiting for the fruits of your labor to pay off. So those are the energies coming in. And it looks like it's going to pay off. You've got that celebration card over there. So these are the energies for those two weeks. It seems like you're coming to terms with whatever happened and you're managing to let go of things right now. So I'm just going to use the Art Nouveau Tarot for the main read. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Four of Cups over here. So there could be some kind of offer coming in for you, but you're not really interested in it. It seems like even if that offer comes in for you with this Four of Cups, uh, you know, it, maybe you and the, that person are not on the same page. Uh, you'll have different goals or different visions, and maybe you're not even willing to consider this new offer that's coming in it might be a new emotional offer maybe somebody's making uh, uh, an offer for a relationship for you uh, but you're not really interested in in it um, and this could also be that you know you're dealing with uh, that relationship that you ended was because uh, you and the person were seeing things from different angles or different viewpoints you're you know you can see these people looking in different directions there's no more emotional contact between them so uh, you know that relationship that you were involved in uh, you know it seems like you'll have gone your separate ways and um, you know you are not even uh, thinking along the same lines anymore uh, you'll have different goals different visions and you want to do different things and you are not connecting on an emotional level anymore so what's happening with you uh there it looks like there was a lot of lies and deception within that relationship you've got that seven of swords over here which is talking about lies deceit uh being betrayed being let down so you 
that person turned out to be something that they were, you know, what you thought they were, they were not. So there was a lot of lies and, uh, you know, you had a vision. You you held them in very, very high regard. You can see this man's got this woman almost on a pedestal and uh, yet uh, they, they let you down. So you're dealing with that kind of uh, circumstance. Maybe you can't believe that even happened. Uh, because you didn't expect it at all. So you're entering a brand new emotional cycle. So this could be a new offer coming in for a uh, new relationship, or it could be you just going on into a new emotional phase, coming to terms with things and, um, you know, moving on. So this is a card of like moving on into a new emotional cycle. That past relationship uh, was a very burdensome relationship. You may have been holding all the responsibility. There was a lot of fighting, anxiety, disputes, uh, you know, and it seems like, you know, because this is the nine of rods, this is like uh, maybe uh, there were lots of battles and you, know, you were always waiting for the next battle to come along. And it seems like you turned your, your back on that relationship and you've left it behind. You've got this knight of cups over here. So it looks like there is some kind of emotional offer coming in for you. With this ace of cups, this knight of cups is carrying this ace of cups. So it looks like there is some kind of new emotional offer coming in. Uh, this person is uh, in your arena right now or coming into you, uh, into your arena. And they, it looks like they're bringing some kind of new offer. This could also be like, uh, you know, an apology coming in for you as well that sets you on to a new emotional cycle. But it looks like there might be an offer coming in for you. This could be a water sign person, Cancer, um, Scorpio or uh, Pisces uh, bringing in this offer. Um, there might be an invitation, some kind of social invitation coming with this person. Now you've got the king of staves over here. So this is, you know, taking back your control, taking back your power. Uh, this could also be that you may uh, be even thinking about starting a relationship with a fire sign person, or there might be a fire sign person around you uh, that you're thinking about a lot. Uh, this person um, whom you, you know, if this person is, is somebody that you're thinking about, uh, maybe they're not, uh, you know, they're not very emotionally in tune with you because um, it's a fire sign. Uh, rather than, you know, there's no cups there. So uh, it could be um, that, you know, this person may be uh, a fire sign that you're dealing with. They might be um, uh, causing, uh, stirring up a little bit of problems for you. Uh, they might be, um, you know, a, a very dominating person, a domineering person, uh, a bit of a bully as well, and somebody that you can't emotionally connect with. Uh, and they might be causing some problems. Maybe they're, they're, they're the person that you've even broken up with and uh, you they're still, you know, um, their residual energy is still on your mind. You're still dealing with the aftermath of what they did to you. You're still going over that in your mind. Now, you've got the world card of here. So you have finished that cycle or you will be finishing the cycle, uh, that karmic cycle that you went through. Uh, that breakup, it looks like it may have been a karmic cycle because this is a major arcana and this is now the end of that. And you're taking, uh, you know, you're, you're getting over it. And whatever you've learned from that particular breakup, um, you know, you've uh, has allowed you to bring something very. You you learned something very unique, and you're going to bringing something be bringing something very unique to the world, as well with this uh, particular uh, card. This is a card ruled by Saturn, and Saturn is a the great teacher in the zodiac. So whatever you've learned, it was a karmic cycle that you had to complete and you learned a lot of lessons and it's made you very unique as a person. So you, although you went through quite a bit and it was a very devastating experience, it seems like you've come out with a lot of life lessons and now that cycle is finished and you are now going to be moving on and starting something brand new. And you've got that ace of cups over there, so it's definitely starting some brand new cycle on the emotional level. So there's some kind of celebration coming in. So there's a victory of sorts coming in for you. You've got this three of cups over here and there's a brand new beginning because you've got the baby in this cup, uh, card over here. So, uh, you know, you are going to be starting something brand new and there's going to be a lot of celebration around this brand new project that you're starting or brand new thing that you're starting. This could even be that you're starting a brand new relationship. Uh, that's going to be a long term thing. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's going to start from, you know, it's starting from the beginning and it's going to bring a lot of joy into your life. So you've got the justice card. So there's some kind of legal uh, issues that you're dealing with around you. So you're still tying up loose ends and you may be waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in. It might be, uh, you know, the endings of that. Uh, maybe you went through a divorce and, you know, you're rounding up things over there. Uh, you know, with this justice card, uh, make sure that you're re reading all the fine print. 
uh, and being very logical in how you handle things so that you might be getting some kind of legal news or waiting for a legal decision to come in. Now, you're hoping that the sun comes in, so uh, the sun card is about starting afresh and bringing, you know, you want happiness to come in for you. You want a change to come in and you want positive change to come in as well. That's in your hopes and fears. Now, going into the future, you've got the Page of Swords, uh, the Three of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So the Page of Swords, just be careful that people around you are a little bit dishonest. Somebody might be spying on you, maybe somebody from that old relationship. Somebody's carrying tales, or there might be some deception or lies going on around you. So proceed very cautiously and make sure you um, uh, are aware of who you trust. So, uh, you know, with this Page of Swords, this is a bit of a sneak of a person and so somebody's carrying tales back and forth and uh you know maybe causing a little bit setting up a little bit of problems for you so just be aware that this person is it's a very childishly behaving person uh you know maybe somebody's um uh you know trying to bring your reputation down by by lies and gossip uh, so just be aware that that person could be in your vicinity and be aware of who you trust you've got the three of pentacles over here so you are focused on your work it doesn't seem like you're focused on a relationship right now it seems like you're rounding off things you're getting over that previous relationship and you have put all your attention on your work and your career at this particular moment that relationship uh doesn't look like it's going to be re resurrected again you've got the ten of swords it's definitely came to an end and it's finished and done with it is dead and gone so you know it's time for you to move on so this is a complete end of that relationship and it seems like you know you're coming to terms with it and you've accepted that uh, you can no longer bring it back again there's no way of breathing new life on or there's no reconciliation that will come for you so you're going to be focusing on your um your career it seems or your financial status so it seems like you're getting your power back again uh you know you are ending the cycle this was a karmic cycle it looks like there's some kind of um celebration coming in for you there might be some kind of event that you could even be attending a social event but there's some kind of celebration a victory of sorts and there's some kind of legal news that will be coming in for you or legal decision being made but you are going to be starting this brand new emotional cycle. This could well be a, a you know a new relationship because there is that key, Knight of Cups bringing in that offer. So something is coming in for you, and uh, you've got the Sun card, which is what you were hoping for in that hopes and fears. So life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So whatever you're doing is going to be very successful, and a, a you know new insight, new clarity coming for you, and a, a ability to move into the into the future something brand new beginning and you know some joy coming into your life again you've got the ace of michael over here wonderful new ideas and don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress clear up communication problems with others so this is also a victory card if you are going are waiting for some legal news to come in it looks like whatever comes in you're going to be victorious in it because it's the ace of swords or the ace of michael and also if you're having problems with people you know you need to speak very clearly make sure you they understand where you're coming from so make sure you're you're wielding your power or showing your truth um make sure you are showing that you are not willing to bow down to anybody else's um ideas you are standing up for yourself now then you've got the wheel of fortune as well coming in so there's new beginnings end of delays a change in direction that offers happiness so with the sun card and this wheel card coming in for you brand new happiness coming in uh and new beginnings coming in as well you've got that ace of michael brand new insights brand new beginnings so uh you know all three cards about brand new beginnings, uh, brand new insights, and, uh, you know, things getting better. And finally, you know, things are starting to move again, because it seems like you may have been stuck for a little while in that energy, but you have now ended that cycle with that world card. And, uh, you know, the wheel card is coming, so change is coming in for you. And you are now moving into your... Um, you will be moving to the, the month of Taurus, uh, you know, where you celebrate your birthday. So this is definitely the end of your year. And you are going to go start your, your, your new year at the end of April and the beginning of uh, and in May. So uh, a new cycle will start for you. And that's why the Wheel of Fortune has come in, uh, because it's the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle that will start uh, at the end of uh, April and the beginning of May. So things are starting to shift in a positive direction. You're, la you're laying the past to rest. You can see with that Ten of Swords, this woman is, this man has died, uh, and she's laying him to rest, if you like. Uh, and you can see that um, 
you know, you're laying that past to rest. You're focusing again on yourself, focusing on your work, and you are going to be moving forward uh, in a positive direction because the sun is coming out again in your life. And, you know, joy is coming back into your life again. So, uh, you know, you are moving in a very positive direction. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And uh, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.